Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo, Japanese Everyday Food. Today I'm going to show you how to cook traditional Japanese breakfast. Fresh steamed rice and miso soup are the staple to Japanese everyday meal. Japanese rice is a short grain rice. Unlike to a long grain rice, it is moist and a little sticky and tastes sweeter. Let's get started. First, rinse and clean the rice. Here I have one cup of Japanese rice. Put my rice in a bowl, pour in a generous amount of water. Stir and pour out water immediately to avoid the rice absorbing cloudy water. The rice is very dry and will absorb cloudy water easily at this point. So pour out water as quickly as you can. Then swish my hand several times to wash, pour in the fresh water to it, and pour out cloudy water quickly. Then swish my hand several times again to wash the rice thoroughly, and pour water again. Do not wash your rice vigorously, otherwise your rice will break and end up soggy texture. Then strain. I always strain my rice to get a clean taste. Put rinsed rice in a small earthenware pot or a heavy bottom pan to cook. You can use a rice cooker when you cook a large amount. In that case, the ratio between rice and water is 1 to 1. Back to earthenware pot. The ratio between rice and water is 1 to 1.2. Put the lid on and turn on the heat. Put on a medium heat and bring to a boil. Give it a good stir when it comes to a boil. Cover the lid again and cook for 10 minutes on low heat. Do not take the lid off when the steam comes out fast. Adjust the heat to very low. Stay calm and trust me. After 10 minutes, turn off the heat. Let it sit for another 10 minutes. After that, fluff the rice with a rice paddle. And it's done! Each grain should be cooked through. I like a little al dente texture. Add some more water if you like soft texture. The rice is shiny when you cook right. Let's make miso soup. These are the ingredients. Bonito flakes, miso of your choice, soft tofu, dried wakame seaweed, and long green onion. You can substitute for scallions. First, let's make dashi broth. Dashi is an essential flavor factor in Japanese cuisine. I will show you the easiest way to make delicious and genuine dashi broth. Put a handful of bonito flakes, about 10 grams, into a jug and pour 2 cups of boiling water. Let it sit for 5 to 6 minutes. When the bonito flakes sink to the bottom, dashi is ready. How easy is that? Let's prepare the filling. Add some water to dried wakame seaweed to rehydrate. Leave it 5 minutes and it becomes like this. Strain and set aside. Cut the long green onion into thin slices. Long green onions add a refreshing flavor to miso soup. Sieve dashi into a pot and add 2 tablespoons of miso and dissolve while heating on low heat. Add soft tofu, you can use firm tofu if you like, diced on your palm. Tofu is too soft to cut on cutting board. Add wakame seaweed. When the tofu and the wakame seaweed heat it through, it's pretty much done. Be careful not to boil, otherwise tofu loses its moistness and miso loses its flavor. Topped with long green onion and it's perfectly done. Now the time to eat. Transfer your rice with a rice paddle to an individual rice bowl with fluffing again. These are my son's breakfast table. Fresh steamed rice, hot miso soup, tamagoyaki Japanese omelette, and spinach goma ae. The perfect combination to boost your energy. And we love to eat rice wrapped with nori seaweed. Choose a good quality nori. Oh, he couldn't wrap nicely. It happens. This is the right way to wrap rice with nori. We recommend to choose Japanese rice but relatively expensive outside of Japan. So choose similar type of rice like sushi rice or California rice. So give it a try.